Hi everyone. In the annals of maritime history, one ship stands out as a symbol of British naval power, courage, and resilience, HMS Victory. Launched in the 18th century, HMS Victory remains a remarkable testimony to the craftsmanship, naval engineering, and the unyielding spirit that defined the Royal Navy during its golden age. As the oldest commissioned warship still afloat, her story is woven with victories, survival against the odds, and a legacy that stretches across more than two centuries. This legendary vessel, known best for her pivotal role at the Battle of Trafalgar, continues to inspire naval enthusiasts and historians alike. Let's embark on a journey through time, as we explore the history and legacy of this 258-year-old icon of the sea. HMS Victory was completed in 1765, in the midst of the Seven Years' War, an era that marked fierce maritime conflict between the European powers. At an imposing 227 feet in length, Victory was built to endure challenges of naval warfare, but her beginnings were surprisingly quiet. For the first 13 years of her existence, HMS Victory remained in reserve, her destiny yet to be realized on the high seas. During this period of dormancy, the ship began to show signs of wear and tear. In fact, approximately one-third of the ship's structure was replaced due to decay, a testament to the harsh conditions wooden vessels faced even while idle. Despite these early struggles, HMS Victory would soon prove her worth. Her moment of true glory came in 1805 during the Battle of Trafalgar, where she served as Vice Admiral Horatio Nelson's flagship. With a crew of 821 men aboard, Victory led the charge against the combined fleets of France and Spain. Though the battle was one of the most significant victories in British naval history, it came at a heavy price. Of the 821 men who fought on Victory that day, 51 were killed, 11 succumbed to their wounds, and 91 were injured but survived. Nelson himself was struck down during the battle, making his sacrifice and the ship's triumph forever intertwined in history. The survival of HMS Victory was not always assured. On March 10, 1941, during a German air raid over Portsmouth, a 250 kg bomb fell perilously close to her. The explosion shattered two of the ship's support cradles and damaged a 15-foot section of her keel. Remarkably, Victory weathered this assault as she had so many other challenges, a symbol of endurance even in the darkest hours of modern warfare. Today, HMS Victory is preserved as part of the National Museum of the Royal Navy under the stewardship of the HMS Victory Preservation Trust, which assumed ownership in 2012. The ship, now berthed in Portsmouth, attracts thousands of visitors every year. But this was not always the case. In fact, HMS Victory became a tourist attraction in the early 19th century, long before she was officially opened to the public in 1928. Since then, more than 30 million people have walked her decks, each gaining a glimpse into the past. As a commissioned warship, HMS Victory continues to serve as the flagship of the First Sea Lord, making her the oldest commissioned warship in the world. Her significance extends beyond her physical presence, she represents a connection to Britain's naval past, a time when wooden ships, powered by wind and muscle, ruled the oceans. The scale of HMS Victory's construction is equally staggering. She displaces 3,500 tons and required a monumental effort to build. Over 6,000 trees were felled to provide the timber for her structure, while 26 miles of rope and 768 pulley blocks were essential for rigging the ship's sails. This level of craftsmanship is almost unimaginable today, and yet Victory continues to stand as a marvel of engineering. 
Since her launch in 1765, HMS Victory has undergone five major repairs, each one a reflection of the meticulous care required to preserve such a historic ship. By the time she entered the Battle of Trafalgar, she had been almost completely rebuilt, a process that ensured she remained seaworthy for her greatest triumph. The cost of constructing Victory back in the 18th century was £63,000, a staggering sum for the time, which equates to around £740 million in today's money. Her preservation, a labor of love, continues to this day, with efforts to ensure that this iconic vessel can be admired by future generations. HMS Victory is not just a ship, she is a living link to a bygone era, a symbol of the bravery, sacrifice, and unyielding spirit of those who served aboard her. As she stands proudly in Portsmouth, Victory invites us all to reflect on the legacy of naval history, the advancements in maritime technology, and the enduring importance of remembering our past. With more than 258 years of history behind her, HMS Victory will continue to inspire and educate, keeping the story of British naval supremacy alive for generations to come. Let us cherish this remarkable vessel and the many tales she holds within her wooden frame.
Thanks for watching.